I'm gonna be using Rev.com all day long. Just typing up captions, banging away on my keyboard mindlessly, listening to the audio, and typing up what I'm hearing. I'm gonna see if you can make more money doing that than you could if you had to go out to a physical minimum wage 9 to 5 job, because you made more money just sitting at home working on your laptop, typing away whenever you feel like it. People make videos, and it might be for YouTube or for any other platform, and they want captions written for them. YouTube auto generates captions but sometimes they're not quite right. So if you want perfect captions written by a real person, you can send your video to rev.com and pay per minutes to have someone write up the captions manually. They say that for each minutes of audio that you write the captions for, you can make up to $1.10. If you're working a minimum wage job in the UK at the moment and you're 23 or older, you'd be making £9.50 per hour. Today, I'm going to put in a standard 8-hour shift, 9 to 5, to see if you can make more money writing captions from your laptop at home than in any minimum wage job. It's just about to turn 9am, so let's head over to the computer. About two months ago, I signed up for Rev.com. I had to do this like half-hour-long sign-up test where they gave me some sample audio and I typed up the captions, and they decided if I was a good enough human being with English skills. They accepted me, but they said there's going to be a super long waiting list. So I've only just been accepted two months after that sign up thing. Once they gave me my account, I went through the onboarding process where you have to read this super long, ridiculously long style guide showing you how to write captions exactly how they want you to write them. I've just spent the last 30 minutes fully comprehensively reading the style guide, and it's 17 pages in volume 6. Like 17 A4 pages of info took me 30 minutes to go through and properly digest it. After I'd got the hang of how Rev.com wanted me to write captions, I had to prove that I hadn't just skipped through the style guide. I wrote the captions for three specific videos. The first job was a bit of a grind. I'm trying out this side hustle because I'm trying to get out of debt and then become a millionaire as fast as possible. So make sure to subscribe to help me get a little bit closer to that goal. I've just completed the first job. It took 30 solid minutes of focused work. I got paid, but I did not get paid a lot. Only 98 cents. 30 minutes to earn just under $1. So far, the minimum wage job is winning. I'm actually gonna start a timer. The second of the two training jobs I had to do was for 48 cents. The first one took half an hour, so I was hoping that I could do this one quite a bit faster. Just been smashing it out as fast as I can. And it's been 10 minutes, 45 seconds so far. So I've written out all the captions, and then I still have to sync them up with the videos. I'm not done yet. 20 minutes to get 50 cents. These two training jobs ended up taking me a total of 50 minutes. And that was on top of spending half an hour already reading through that style guide. So I was now really eating into my 9 to 5 shift. I can't say for sure just yet. But it's kind of seeming like Rev.com is a bit like super cheap labor. They're just wanting people to work for super low wages. Now that I was done with all the training, I could choose which videos I wanted to write the captions for. Basically, I just wanted to start out with a video that was just a minute or two long so that I could be sure that I could finish it before the deadline. Because if I didn't, I'd get a big black mark on my Rev.com account and I might get kicked off the platform, which would just be a disaster and we'd never find out how much money we could make in a 9 to 5 shift. At that time, the shortest video available for me to claim was 4 and a half minutes long, and the deadline for that was in less than 2 hours. I just wasn't confident yet that I would be able to write all those captions within 2 hours, so I refreshed the page, and thank god, a shorter video showed up at 1 and a half minutes long. So I snapped that right up and got to work. Just had to unclaim a job that I started because it was someone singing. And it was their own song lyrics. And it was not very clear what they were saying. But I just cracked on and started on another job. We've got to make that cheddar. Oh man, there were three people talking at the same time. It was really hard to caption. Yeah, not worth the 50 cents or whatever per minutes. We're gonna try and find one where there's just one person speaking. Here we go. It's just a guy talking to the camera. 
just him, nothing else going on. Made 57 cents from that. I'm on the six minutes of a seven minutes video, typing up the captions, and it's just mind numbing, mind numbingly boring. And my eyes hurt because you have to really focus and stare at the screens with continuous focused shop attention. Takes so long. I mean, even if it paid minimum wage, which it isn't doing, it would be worth it. Just finished a job that was doing captions for a seven minutes video. And that was a slog. Took an hour 25 for $3.85. How is anyone doing this? Like, when? What? I guess in some countries, $3 an hour would be feasible. Just finished the last job of the day. It is now, well, pretty much 5 p.m. Managed to do five jobs because it just takes so darn long. Made $8.25. There are plenty of side hustles where you can make $20 in one hour. I did a busking video not too long ago linked down in the description. And at one point, I was making about $25 an hour. I could do that for one hour. Or you can type captions for 10 hours.